is somehow it worked against the stereotype that we often hear people say that women, can, jurors, can be tougher on women witnesses right. than more tougher or tougher, tougher. Ah, I can't talk, it's Friday afternoon. Tougher on than men would be, uh, witnesses. I, the theories are all over the board. I don't believe in any of those theories. You gotta judge the person for what the person is. You can't get involved with, okay. you need a, an all male jury, you need mostly females. Mm -hmm. It could work both ways. But what this did prove is these cases are <laughs> won and lost in jury selection. You know, you could have had a jury for a different makeup, they would have convicted no question on the murder in, in the first degree. Cases are won and lost in jury selection. We just heard from two jurors. They were totally defense jurors. They, I mean, they were, we didn't even hear reasonable doubt. I mean, they bought the story, you know, hook, line, and sinker. There was no question in their mind that she was telling the truth, that this was an abused woman, she was sexually abused, she should get her kids back, the whole, the whole nine yards. Uh, they believe Mary totally. And Michael, you've been covering this case. There was a lot of talk, though, that the... David, would you agree with Sonny's assessment, or would you attack it differently? I, 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 if you represent, let's say you represent the grandparents, what do you go in court? I, I, and what I agree do you with say? Sonny's assessment of the law. I don't agree with her conclusion. My money's on grandma all the way. I, we just saw her testify in, in this court. You know, what is in the best interest of these child? Where do these kids, after everything that they've been through, where do they have a chance in life? Are they going to have a chance with Mary Winkler, the woman who, who you know, whether it's manslaughter or murder, whatever you want to call it, he, they, she killed the children's father, all right, in, in, in cold blooded killing with the kids in the house and then took the kids and went on a trip to, you know, wherever. They went uh, to another state. To Alabama. to Alabama. Okay, we forgot about talking about that. In the car, uh, are you going to trust the kids with this person or are you going to trust the kids with the grandmother who could provide a stable environment for these children and maybe, just maybe, could, could help them grow up into uh, law-abiding citizens, productive citizens. Uh, and, and so to me, there's no question about it. These children belong with grandma. That's what's in the best interest, interest of the child. That may be all good and well, but Michael, isn't there an essentially a bias towards talking to the mother or seeing the mo mother? And obviously, there's going to be some serious therapy bills <laughs> <laughs> o o o over there. So obviously, very complicated, but it still seems... David's over here shaking his head. <laughs> Let's let the go ahead respond, well, David. I, I, Sonny, I respect you, but <laughs> I, I mean, if you're the judge in this case and you're listening to this, and you have Mary Winkler on one side and you have the grandmother on the other side, you are hearing this articulate woman who loves her grandchildren, who is going to provide a safe environment for these children to grow up into productive members of our society, how could you not give the children, in light of all the evidence in this case, how could you not give the children to the grandmother? Yes, there's a presumption in the law that the mother should Look retain at history, custody. David. Look but, at but you know what? You know it's, it's a rebuttable presumption. It, it is how it works. It's a rebuttable presumption. Once you kill the father of the children, that presumption goes out the window. Well, no, it's, it's still a crime. A crime. Of passion, and 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 don't get me wrong. I mean, I feel for these grandparents. I mean, they. So, David, you. Sonny, that, that's that's all well and good on, on the on the criminal case, but yeah, you have to think about these facts. She just kills the guy in cold blood and screams out upstairs. All right, kids, let's go. Everybody, jump into the family car, and you know what? Take your sleeping bags because we're going on a long journey. We're going to take a ride to Alabama. I just shot Daddy. No problem. Let's go. I mean, this is a mental unstable woman and when, and, and, when, and when you think about what's in the best interest of these children any judge is going to look at this and say these kids have to be with grandma under this set of circumstances I could certainly see both of your arguments that's what's so great about being a lawyer I can see two sides to everything but right now we need to take a quick break and clearly we got great lawyering in this case the defense did a great job the case was won and lost in jury selection they picked the right jury for this case and Mary got on the stand and won her free her testimony won the day for herself.